So we've already told you what the best tasting mustard is. So we're gonna sweeten it up and try honey mustard. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. All right, today we tackle honey mm. mustard and it includes both the dressings and the dip bottles too. So we found five different varieties at County Market of uh, different honey mustards. Now traditionally, I only use them on chicken, but. Yeah, um, a lot of people put them on uh, salads, especially when they do the crispy chicken salads or yeah. something. I like them with um, hot pretzels. Yeah, that's something I never heard of either. But Even just regular bag of pretzels. Yeah, so let us know in the comments yeah. what else you use honey mustard for. But today Dave and I aren't gonna put it on anything as we typically do. We're just gonna do straight shooters of honey mustard wow. today, just like we did with ranch dressing. We're privileged. So blind taste test as we always do, we rank them on a scale of mm -hmm. one to 10 to find out what the best tasting one is. Uh, what are you going to look for in a honey mustard? Well, it's got to have lots of honey flavor for sure for Absolutely. me to be sweet, but also like tangy too. I like tangy. Um, I like honey mustard because of the balance with the sweet and uh, right. the, the puckery vinegar. and yeah. This one's thick. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a jello shot. I can't get mine out. Ooh, that one's really good. That has a lot of honey in it. Ooh, yeah. Uh, the texture is really good too. So besides being super thick, super thick, this is like a meal in itself. You have to it really bring is. it out. We could eat this with a fork. It's that, almost like some, a dessert. It's some kind of a dressing that you would put on a sandwich. Man. Which is another thing I like it for is um, ham and Swiss sandwiches. Yeah, ham would it'd be good with ham. But um, this does not taste like mustard. Right. It's um, sweet, like a dessert. Yeah. It's almost oh like God. an icing. It's a, it's a mustard icing. It's, it's good. <laughs> put it on cakes Look at this licking. <laughs> oh. That's really, that's really good. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so good start. That totally surprised me. I'm going nine right off the bat. Nine. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay at an eight. Number two. This one's <laughs> another really thick this one. This is thick and it's uh, darker brown too. <laughs> <laughs> Have to get out the finger. Pretty soon it's gonna glop right on your glasses. <laughs> Ooh, that one's even thicker than the first one. A lot Ooh. more mustardy flavor though. You can. Um, the texture has that ground mustard seed. Right. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Ma'am. Ooh. It's got, it's got I, a lot more punch. Yeah, I prefer this one because of that balance, because of the, the tanginess of it mm -hmm. matched with the honey. It's Ooh. not overly sweet. That one's almost spicy. Mm -hmm. So the first one that we had was overly sweet. This one is lot, it's, it's got a kick. It has a little punch to it, which would be good for the uh, pretzels, hot pretzels. Right. Yeah, this one definitely dabbles more into the mustard side than the honey side. Hmm. It's almost got like a whiskey burn. It does. Ooh, I'll go with seven. I went up to an eight and a half. <laughs> All right, number three, this one almost looks Ooh. like a uh, cheese. This has it's some, like a queso. Yeah, it has some flecks of red and... Ooh. Wow. Um, so if I had to guess, that one's going to be a dressing that's rather a dre than a That's dip. more of a dressing. But yeah, it, it's got like a vinaigrette kind of flavor. Lots of flavors going on in this one. Now I'm getting the heat. It, it tastes like you almost have ham in it. it yeah. There's some sort of meat flavor there's that's a, there. Um, a lot of flecks of spice. Boy, this would be great on a chicken grilled chicken salad or yeah it's got a lot of dressing flavors you almost get like a little bit of caesar a little bit like thousand island mm -hmm. a little bit of french a little bit of western it's like everything rolled into one that's what confuses me about it there's all the flavors going on and it's got a little kick to it yeah <clears throat> guess that, the pepper flakes maybe yeah. in there do that going to eight i went seven and a half okay <laughs> number four a little bit thicker again mm -hmm. this looks like a typical honey mustard Ooh. Super sweet again. Mm -hmm. um, man, that's like a pancake syrup. Still has a good twang to it. Definitely more mellow than the one that we just had. Um, I think it's mellower than the first one too. This is the first one that I've noticed like almost like a smoky taste mm -hmm. to it though. Yeah, it's got a um, deepness to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the first one was just sweet. This one- Yeah, it's pretty rich. Has, um, has something in it. Again, it's very desserty. Yeah, this is probably more of a dip than a dressing for sure. The vinegar flavor isn't quite there. No. This would be kid friendly. Stick it at eight. Yeah, I'll go to an eight. All right. Woo wee. All right, last one, number five, another thin one. That's an intense yellow. Woo. Um, man, I'm trying to place that flavor. I'm not, not getting any mustard. It's not necessarily vinegar. That one um, makes my mouth dry. It's almost like a a ranch. It's like, a, I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, Flexar, is that mustard seed? Could be. If, if this is a dressing, Ooh. there's a little vinegar flavor. <coughs> that one make, that one was tart, but it still has that honey. Yeah, still got a honey flavor to At it. At first, that one's hard to describe. A mayo. That's what it tastes like. Yes, mayonnaise. You're right. And it's thick like mayonnaise, too. Yeah. Huh. It kind of has a uh, Miracle Whip right. bite to it. Yeah. 
the twang. I'll go with seven because when I think of honey mustard, I don't I don't think of that. I stayed at an eight. I like the um, I don't know. I like the kick with it. After trying five different honey mustards yeah. with drastically different ah. taste profiles, we have a winner. Number one was the first one that we tried. Yeah. Was Essential Every Day, our store brand. So about this one, it, it was a dip, obviously yeah. not necessarily a dressing, but it was super sweet, which is the reason it I like it. Wow, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right off the bat, um, I like the texture, the thickness, um, the amount of honey, but it was still balanced. Yeah. So EE -E with number one and number two. One of my favorite things to have on salad is. Ken's Steakhouse Ken's. dressing. Mm -hmm. honey so mustard. it won the ranch taste test, and mm -hmm. now Ken comes in second on the honey mustard. Um, what I liked about that one, though, is it was more overall well balanced than yep. maybe the EE. The EE stuck out because of the sweetness, sweetness, and this one was a little bit more toned down. This one, I would say, is more gourmet. Yeah, there you go. The, it's richer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, well rounded flavors, and uh, I haven't found anything of Ken's Steakhouse that I don't like. It's so. true. All right, so there you go. Our taste test, what we like, again, Lots of different taste profiles mm -hmm. on the honey mustard, so depending on what you like, you can find it in, in a dip or a dressing. Yeah, and let us know what you put it on. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it.